Hello guys! Before we start with our small trip, I would like to ask you for a favor. My friend Oscar, who happens to be a superhero, is fighting with leukemia. His only chance is car to cell treatment. It costs a lot of money as you can expect, so if you want to help him, please donate something even if it's just one dollar. It will make a difference. I will leave you a link to the websites you can make your donations as well as to my video in which you can get to know Oscar a little bit better. Thank you! And now, let's go for a trip! If you ever come to Israel, you must visit one of the markets over here. Today we'll walk around Levinsky Market and the Carmel Market to see what do they have to offer. We are starting with Shuklevinsky. During the 1930s, Tel Aviv was home to a small group of Jews from Saloniki, Greece, and David Florentin was considered the leader of the group. Most of the working class immigrants settled in the south of Tel Aviv, now called Florentin, after David's nephew, Solomon Florentin, who was the first contractor here. At this time, a big range of spice shops opened here. Also places with Balkan food were very popular. One legend says that the first spice blends for early state home cooking were created here by and for Florentine's residents. After establishing the state of Israel, a lot of Iranian immigrants settled here, bringing new flavors and spices significant in the Persian cuisine. The population grew, so did the market space, developing from nuts and spices stalls into a bustling commercial marketplace with luxury stores and gourmet restaurants. We are leaving Shuklevinsky and moving to the Carmel Market. Just after we walk through the gate, we could listen to the beautiful music. השנים החולפות מהר, 
That was Miri Aloni. She is quite a famous persona in Israel. Her most famous songs are Shir Le Shalom, Song for Peace, Drop of Love and Mona Lisa of the 20th Century. In recent years she has been known for her street performances at Carmen's Market. In this part of Tel Aviv you will find dozens of fabric shops. They are very famous from their wide selection of fabrics for wedding and evening dresses. This is also a place to go if you wanna buy some original and beautiful handmade items. At the end of our trip we went to eat something in one of the tiny restaurants slash kitchens. The ingredients were very fresh and of course it was tasty. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this small tour. I hope you will remember to help Oscar. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment with your opinion about it. I also have to announce something. If you are already a subscriber you know I upload every Friday and Sunday. But due to amount of work I will have in the coming month I will upload once a week, on Saturdays or Sundays. I hope you will stick with me anyway. I will come back to my normal schedule as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye!